Hi friends, it is Aicha from Aicha RP account in Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with uh, WorkQs, uh, our QS management and healthcare application. And if you really like this video, you please subscribe and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. In the last video, so we added, you know, the collection to Q. And the Q name is like a healthcare. Now you can see like a four records are added to the Q. And then, uh, now I am going to assign this task to robot. So double click on process information stage and select this check button that is publish this process to control room then reset it and then save it then go to control room so here you can see like the uh, published process is here and the drag and drop onto the machine then click on ok highlight it and then click on start selection. So, so it seems to be there is one error because uh, you know the credentials were like mismatched. Okay, let me rerun, uh, rerun this. Let me reassign this process once again. So drag and drop out the bot. So highlight it and then start selection. So it works fine and it's completed. So open the process. Just add. So one more action. Then select uh, internal business object that is walk queues. Then use like a get next item. Then assign a queue name here. So keep in double quotes. So create an item ID. Then collection add the collection here the status so link the status So reset it and then run it.
So reset it and then run it. Okay, it's done. So go to control room. And you can use like a refresh or you can press like on F5 on your keyboard. Then you can see the first item in Q1 is marked as a like yellow lock icon. Okay, return to process and then we'll have like one more reaction stage. So you add one action, choose the internal business subject that is work use, then select an action like mark completed. Then drag and drop one item ID here. So if you observe this item ID, so here every item is given like a unique ID which consists of a series of characters and numbers. So this kind of ID is known as like a globally unique identifier or GUID. Okay, and then connect the stages, link all stages, reset it, and then run it.
Okay, it's done and then go back to control room. So if you observe here, the first item is now marked with a green tree. Okay, now I've written to the process. So delete like a mark completed. Then add, okay, drag and drop on action stage here. Select internal business target that is YQ. And then select like a mark exception here. Then item ID. The exception reason you can give anyone. Let's say like an so unwanted so record. And the flag means like always true. And the keep lock. So flag means like always true. And then output I like a click on like a start cut here. So mark exception. So link it. And here, let me delete. Okay, right. We'll continue. control room so press f5 on your keyboard or else use like a refresh here so if you observe here the neck the item in the queue has been marked with like an exception and you can see the exception reason the one we have given uh, like so, but you know, it's given by ourselves, like unwanted record, and there, like the status, sir, like will. So, if you see, like three dots means like. Means like a pending, and if you observe this one, they lock items, like you call like a padlock, and then if you see like you know the flag means like an exception, and the tick mark means like you know the, it's a completed. Okay, we'll continue to work with the uh, QS management. Please stay with us. Thank you.